Mwahaha! Nani? Story time. Okay. This story is about a catfish. Yes, I know. It's amazing, right? No, it's in my fate, trust me. But, um... So the story starts out as... I started messaging this girl on Facebook, okay? And we're gonna put her as a... AJ. Okay? Okay, so this AJ... Message me, you know, hey, hi, blah, blah, um, friends with your friends, so we should be friends type thing, something like that. Anyway, so yeah, I started messaging her, and it turns out to be that she is some type of animal saver, yeah, yeah, she saves animals, seems kind of a bit of a stretch of a story, but it works like that. So, we talked for like a couple of months, and then one day she said she would be at a fireworks stand, which this was close to the 4th of July, people. So, I was like, okay, we'll, we'll meet up there. But we didn't. Okay, so now I remember. I was at my auntie's house. I was telling Jonathan and I was telling my other friend. We'll say Simon. And so I told my friends about this. Seemed pretty legit at the time. So that 4th of July night. I went to go see her, but I didn't see her anywhere. I was looking for this profile picture that had red hair. So I was looking for red hair. And the person that looks like the profile picture. Oh, <laughs> well, wasn't I disappointed to find that, no, wasn't there. So the next day at my auntie's barbecue, I asked the person to go out, and they said yes. Which was a first time in a lifetime for me. So, we went out over messaging. She said she was in Hawaii? Yeah. Amazing. I was like, okay. We're together now, so. <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm. So, the story is co continues as the many months, couple of months actually. After that of us dating. I felt comfortable knowing, thinking that that profile picture was actually what she looks like. Okay, so we went to summer school. And this made me get in an argument over my friend Simon. With, with my friend Simon. Because they said that they found out that the picture, the profile picture, was actually someone else I didn't believe Simon at all I really wish I did but I did not and that's what made us get over an argument and lose a friendship Jonathan stuck by me um, I, I was talking with Jonathan hoping that he, he was basically on my side things so I asked uh, AJ's uh, friend, which I'm gonna name Kai. Yeah. So I did, and she told me that, yeah, she's a 100% real person, but I'm not 100% bored on that yet. Which can seem like Kai knew everything about this person. 
and said that her phone number was linked with the profile on Facebook. Yeah, no, that was a complete lie. That's for the longest time I thought Kai was the person, but she was not. So there's this other person named Cam, we'll say. That was the actual person because Jonathan had to pay somebody to go look that up. But that's it for later on. So, fighting with this AJ person because we went out for a long time, but then we broke up because of Simon. But Simon was the one actually telling me the truth because Simon would have no reason to lie. And that made a very big argument. And so Simon stopped being my friend, which made me very sad. But Simon texted AJ over Facebook saying that Simon knew exactly who was the profile person, which really was, and I thought was a lie for a very long time. But, okay, so it started getting to the depression part, you know what I mean? AJ said she would kill herself, you know? And Simon said, you're not brave enough to do it. So, this real person killed themselves in a hospital bed, saying their last words over messages. Which is clearly odd. And so they did. They died. But later on, the profile was later active. It turned out to be Cam the whole time. And I was like, wow. For the first time in my life, I thought I had somebody. But I didn't. So, if you're desperately thinking love, people, don't do long distance relationships. Don't do it if you don't really know who the person is. And if you can't trust them, then don't be with them. It's obviously a fake account. If they couldn't show you the their picture of them holding up a sign saying your name, if they can't do that, then they're not real. That's what I tried to do this whole time. So, if they say no, they can't hold up a sign and say a real picture because AJ said it was her mother that said she wouldn't allow that. Sure, tried to make a broad story out of it. It wasn't real. I'm so glad Johnson stuck by me through this whole thing because Johnson tried so hard to find out who was AJ. But yeah, turns out to be somebody we all knew. And I wish I listened to my friend Simon. We're friends again, it's just I really, really wish I listened to Simon in the beginning. But, lesson here folks, don't be catfished. Be smarter than that. Okay? The person doesn't show you who they truly are, then they're not worth it. Good story, huh? Okay, thank you for watching. And if you like this video and want to see more, then tell me about it. Bye-bye.